All right, Pamela, it's me, Natalie. I'm a hot, sweaty mess here on the bridge with my <laughs> little chick named Chip. And uh, I connected, <laughs> what is that? I connected with your mother, oh, just a little while ago. And so, um, well, let me first start off by saying today is Saturday, June the 22nd, 2024. Uh, and uh, I've already kind of given you the basis of not necessarily who I am as Natalie, but uh, what I love doing with my life is connecting to angels, to heaven, to spirit, and receiving such messages through my soul, deciphering through my mind, and delivering to life. I have to first start off with this was so crazy because I already explained it to you. This was several days ago now that I was actually connecting with a totally other different spirit. I knew nothing of you, nothing at all, other than that you are my TikTok. And uh, while I was connecting with this spirit, she, I thought, presented with um, this vision of a strawberry cake, a white cake. I could see the actual strawberries all around it. Like I could see, like I was there. And anyway, when I delivered that in the message to this other person in life, everything in that message made sense to them except this strawberry cake. And I was like, hmm. I kind of felt like maybe another soul was tapping in at that time, which is not uncommon to happen. Um, when you are an open vessel, an open soul to receiving such messages, once I open up and spirit comes in, well, you could basically say that all the angels are like hello hello me too me too me too you know and so your mother i believe i didn't know then but i learned days later your mother i believe at that point was like hey 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 hello hello i need you too i need you too because i have a message to deliver my daughter well two or three days had passed i still was thinking about this cake but i didn't know why and then i'm on TikTok scrolling boom there's your video of this strawberry cake I saw the cake. I didn't even know it was you. And I was like, well, this is crazy because this is the cake I saw. So at that point, I reached out to you. And um, now, days later, here we are. So <laughs> just to give a little bit of background, whenever I give a first message to somebody, um, your loved one actually wants me to give a little spiel, so to speak, to give the basis and foundation of where where this message is coming from. It is coming through me, of me. These are not my words. This is not me creative writing or uh, coming up with beautiful stories to share with people. Uh, I don't mess around with spirits. I love spirit. I live... Uh, I refer to it as living uh, between the parallel skies all day, every day. Somewhere I am between heaven and earth, always. Um. <laughs> Give me just a second. I'm just like thinking here for a second. Um, this communication began today at about 11.55 a.m., um, whenever I begin connecting to spirit, uh, I'm used to, uh, I write, I type the, the messages. Oh, my, ch my chick's trying to catch these butterflies. And um, so once I begin writing, that's the way that it comes through me. Everybody's different. Through, through me, it's, it's like through my body, you know, and typing these words. So um, there's no punctuation, there's no sentences, there's no paragraphs. That's not the way that spirit communicates. It's not like I'm sitting there going, okay, yeah, so what are you doing today, angel? <laughs> ah! Oh, no, I just lost all the notes. It's not like I'm sitting there going, okay, angel, what are you doing today? Uh, it's very much so I refer to it like charades. So, you know, it's like spirit presents to me these visions that come through my internal, my soul's uh, senses. We all have senses in life, sight, taste, sound, smell, touch. Uh, our souls actually are our main portal and our souls have those senses as well in deeper ways. So whenever spirit presents through me, it is through my soul, not through my mind. 
Um, I like to tell people, the only way I can really explain it is it's almost like when spirit uh, <clears throat> comes in to utilize my body as a vessel, they uh, literally place my mind, metaphorically speaking, on a little shelf, you know? Hey, put that mind back here for a little bit. It's time for us to come in and give a message. I gotta tell you, my chip, my chick, she's high maintenance these days. She's about 15 weeks old. She uh, was the only bird born. We have 19 birds here and uh, she's, she, she lives with me. She sleeps with me. She's with me always. She's terrified. She doesn't know she's a bird. <laughs> All right, hold on. So let me go ahead and get started. I will never apologize for the length of any such videos as well. I am a shepherd and so my constant intentions, attentions and focus are always going to be on my flock. Um, I do have my livestock guardian dogs outside the fence right now. And uh, so I'm very much so alert. I um, immediately felt that something special has happened in your life recently, Pamela. Um, you, you, you directed me to finding a picture of your mother on your TikTok. And it was a blurry photo that I found. It was you and your mother. And um, I don't need to see you. I zoomed in on your mother. And um, as Spirit likes to have me do, they have me zoom in closer so that I'm looking right in their eyes. Uh, it was, again, a blurry vision, but your mother's soul is so strong. It didn't matter how blurry it was. Your mother was like, I've been waiting. <laughs> She's like, I've been waiting. <laughs> she, um, I almost felt like you maybe, I don't know what you called her mom. I almost felt like you called her mama. Mama, mama, you know, I don't know. Um, also remember that anything that comes through, and your mom was really fast, by the way, which spirit is very fast. Um, spirit can deliver to me a whole lifetime within like, you know, five minutes. So um, uh, whenever I'm receiving and spirit knows I'm kind of like, huh? You know, they're, they swipe. They're like, just keep going, Natalie, keep going. So I've learned along the years of my life that I've been delivering messages to never disinclude anything that I hear, even if it's only a word. I'll put the question mark next to it, like, I have no idea what this means. And that was how your mother first presented in giving me um, a vision of a backpack. And um, she then gave me a vision of, um, I believe it's your kitchen, Pamela. I don't know what your house looks like or anything. It was definitely a kitchen. And um, I also know that you do make a lot of cakes, and so clearly I know that the kitchen is a, is a special place for you to be in, as any baker lives in the kitchen. Um, your mom wanted me to, to ask you, or to have you ask yourself, is there something in your kitchen recently that uh, has either been moved by yourself, or you couldn't find, or you wondered how it got to where it was? Mom says that was her, and she giggles with that. Um, at that point when she was giggling, she had me focus in on her eyes, and she said that she, had, she, she used the words squinty eyes. Um, happy squinty eyes, beautiful lines. You know, um, people don't like to have wrinkles, you know, as we get older and stuff. Uh, your mom was having me see her face was completely flawless, but I could see these little laughing lines and she wanted you to know that she is still laughing and um, very happy. She said, I don't have any more wrinkles. And um, she had me feel that in life, your mother received a lot of compliments or comments on her eyes in particular. She then also showed me a grumpy face. Hmm. <laughs> and she had me feel Okay, you have to understand this. Uh, she had me feel that it's not that she was grumpy in life, you know, or frumpy or anything like that. But she loved using the words, ugh. And if she didn't use the word ugh itself, she had me feel she was very much so like, ugh. You know, like sigh, sigh, heavy sigh. She was a big sigher, you know. Big, ugh. But she was always in the game. 
Um, she also had me feel like maybe at some point in her life she had some sort of dental work done. Um, I don't know why, I don't know why I feel anything, okay? Again, this is not for me to decipher. I'm not sitting here going, hmm, let me, let me figure out your mother for you. Uh, I'm explaining to you what I felt as I'm receiving these messages. And, uh, she had me feel like she had some sort of dental work done, or she wanted dental work done, or she didn't like her teeth or whatever. And yet at the same point, she had me focus in where I could see beyond her closed mouth, her teeth were fine. Her teeth were lovely, actually. Um, and so at that point, I felt like maybe this was a habit, a learned life habit of your mother, perhaps, that started as she was a child, where she was encouraged or, 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 or led or, or told to, um, to not smile a lot. Um, I did hear that word backpack earlier, and that was like she did a quick swipe. I don't know what I don't know what the backpack means. Um, it could signify anything. This is this is now up to you, Pamela. Um, this entire message becomes your treasure hunt, and this is what I've learned all these years of connecting with spirit: is that angels, our angels, our loved ones who are in heaven, they uh, well, number one, they're very much so present. Always, there is no time in heaven. We have time here in life. It is a mere thought. They say a prayer is a simple thought, a mere thought. Well, so too it is a mere thought that connects you to your loved ones in heaven immediately. Whenever you have those feelings that your mother's presence is there, um, or you feel like you feel her or hear her or smell her or anything like that, um, know that she is there, your mother. She is there with you. Um, your mother had me feel like at some point in her life, I'm not sure, uh, I was a little bit confused. Was she some sort of an aerobics instructor, like an exercise instructor? Or did she, did she lead some sort of exercise class? I, it could have even been like with elderly people, I'm not sure. Um, she showed me something behind her left eye and when she showed that to me, she had me go back to the photo that I found of your mom. And when I went back to that photo, I saw there was a little stuff behind. Um, so I'm not sure what she was trying to present to me with, with her eye. Was there an injury to her left eye or something? Did, maybe she had a stroke or a seizure. I'm not sure. Um, she then had me very quickly jump to another vision of, this is a vision I've received many times from Spirit, uh, so I can kind of explain it to you. She gave me a vision of the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon. Massive, wide open spaces, right? And um, usually, uh, so when Spirit gives visions, it could be many things, it could be a memory from life, or it could be again that charades way of how we in life relate to certain things. So when we think of the Grand Canyon, what do we think of? We think of wide open spaces. Wow, whoa, amazing. One of the world's, what, natural wonders, right? So this is your mom's way of letting you know that where she is, which is heaven, she is free. She is everywhere. She has no fear. And she says, at that point, I am free as a eagle. It is important for spirit to have us in life um, assign such, what's the word I'm looking for? Assign such things uh, like eagle. The more we can assign things to connect with our loved ones, the more they will remain in our life every day. And this is how we keep spirit alive. Uh, we are human and by nature, um, well, our mind can only uh, retain so much and hold on to so much. So when uh, somebody in our life dies and then they've been gone for, you know, quite some time, it is only normal for us um, to uh, not be able to think of them as often. And then we actually find ourselves at certain points going, Oh my God, I haven't even thought of my mother like in like weeks, you know? So your mother wants you, number one, to know that whenever you see an eagle, whether it's in the sky, on a t-shirt, on a billboard, on a, on a package of food that you buy, 
any place you see an eagle, hear the word eagle, anything like that, know that your mother is present. Um, death, to me, I say to people, is but a breath. Final inhale, a final exhale. And then we immediately transition to um, a whole other realm, a whole other space and place, which is heaven. Pamela, your mom had me uh, see a vision of a cheerleader, a very quick vision, and it made me wonder if you were ever a cheerleader in life. Um, she gave me, along with that vision, a picture of her, your mother, sitting in a stadium. And so I'm not sure this actually could be your cheerleader, or I don't know if you have children. I think you do. I think you have a daughter. I'm not sure. It could be that uh, she saw, not she saw, I saw, it could be that she is showing me a vision of her granddaughter and um, wanting you to know that she is present in your children's lives. She is everywhere. I also heard the word ice skates ice skates she was like keep going natalie um we all have our own puzzle in life pamela and uh the way i create life is is a treasure hunt a journey a adventure uh if you think about all the fairy tales in life where there's breadcrumbs left behind so we don't get lost on our journeys um your mother leaves behind in this message pieces of your life puzzle we all have a life puzzle she's leaving behind these little pieces that you will be able to place into your own life puzzle that will make more sense and ultimately provide you with a beautiful life yourself of peace and joy at one point your mom also referred to you as darling she said yes darling please um, and I don't know what she was talking about, but she wanted me to hear the word darling. Uh, your mom had me physically feel, which is a common occurrence for me also to not only feel from my soul, but also when uh, spirit enters my body, well, they are entering my mind, my body, and my soul. Remember, my mind is placed on a little shelf, metaphorically, so that my soul can receive such messages. Whenever spirit uh, gives me a physical feeling, as your mother did today, this is usually uh, indicative, signifying um, their final moments of life. Um, and so your mother had me feel a direct warmth, a perfect circle right around here. And then it was a bullseye, like right between my chest, my breast area, like right up here. I don't know, perhaps if your mother died from a heart attack or, um, I keep going also back to the left eye, so I'm thinking stroke or something. I don't know. Um, this was a wild vision, and oftentimes when I get a vision that I like, I go, wait a second, is that my mind? You know, I'm like, I, I quickly will, I will swipe my mind away. I have sheep, okay? <laughs> and um, your mom gave me this vision of, I'm talking hundreds, hundreds of sheep. There were so many of them, all I could see was white. It almost looked like a cotton field to me. And yet, as your mother had me zoom down into this vision, I could see that they were sheep. And I smiled because I knew that this wasn't my mind. I knew this was your mother's soul presenting to me. Her wanting you to know when you think about it, sheep, lambs, are absolutely associated with Jesus. This is your mother's way of letting you know, Pamela, that your mother is with Jesus. I also, towards the end of this communication, saw the numbers 222, two, two, which again, I was like, hey, those are my numbers, <laughs> which again is also kind of interesting because spirit, when they present to me, angels know who to who to seek in life. Uh, it is usually angels who seek me are, are very much so, they were very much so like me in life. And so therefore they know that I'll be able to receive and be able to deliver in such ways. So uh, your mother presented with the numbers 222. Two, two. And uh, at that same point that she presented those numbers to me, she presented to me at that, a vision of that cake, the cake, the strawberry cake. 
that I initially found. So this was your mother's way of letting me know that uh, I was I was on the right track. Um, she then gave me a vision of, I knew it was a wedding, but I couldn't see anything uh, to, to tell me it was a wedding. I just knew she was showing me a wedding. And then she showed me, she kind of then like, whoop, she went in and showed me uh, a bride with a veil on. So I couldn't see the, the bride's face at all. And uh, the bride was holding a lovely bouquet of daisies, which also happened to be my favorite flower. So this was all really bizarre to me. Um, two, 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 and the daisies. I was like, what? This is me. What are you talking about? Um, when the veil was lifted, I could see that it was your mother. And this was her way of letting you know. I don't know if your father is alive or not, but this is her way of letting you know that regardless, she is with your father, her husband, or whoever it was that she loved in this life um, as a man. She gave me a vision, she loves daisies. She gave me a vision of a trampoline and kids jumping on it, older kids, and I couldn't see their faces. Whenever I can't see a face in a vision, this tells me that this is life that is still alive. Uh, so I was really feeling that she was showing me a vision and they were older kids too. So I was feeling like she was showing me your children and she really, really wants her grandchildren to know that like, hey, she is like still there. She's like, she's on that trampoline with them even if it really wasn't a trampoline. Do you see what I'm saying? Again, the charades way. So even if it's not a trampoline, your mother utilizes this vision to share, hey, whatever you're having fun with in life, kids, I'm right there with you. <laughs> we often, when we think about reaching out to a loved one, uh, we want to hear what we want to hear. And yet the truth is spirit comes through with often the most bizarre and peculiar things. The reason for this is that, uh, well, there's no way I can make this stuff up. <laughs> and uh, it's important for angels to know that when such messages are delivered, that uh, there is absolute validation on your end. The validation on my end uh, no longer <laughs> needs to exist except for the fact that I do like to hear after I deliver a message what did make sense to you and perhaps what did not. Oftentimes, if something doesn't make sense to you, I can help further explain it to you because again, it's not all about memories. Um, it is about charades. The other important thing, Pamela, is that whenever you receive a message uh, from spirit, uh, it is going directly to your soul as well. Our soul um, is depleted very quickly of such energies. It takes all our energy actually to connect to our soul. Our mind, that takes like nothing. Our soul, whoa, it like takes a lot. So um, it's very important for you to drink a lot of water today right after you see this video. Uh, keep yourself hydrated today. Uh, along the lines of also keeping hydrated, you will experience a much more lucid, clear vision of receiving such messages. Your mother is a beautiful soul. And as we ended this connection, um, I was finishing up my notes and all of a sudden she goes, hey, hey, she like came back. She's like, I forgot. I forgot. She goes, tell them I love sparrows. The birds, sparrows. She was like, I love sparrows. I need them to know I love sparrows. So there you have it. You've got the eagle and the sparrow. Those are two things right there that you can add to your mother's list of spirit animals. I hope you enjoy this message. Beyond enjoying it, I hope it touches your soul and that it makes sense to you. And I'm here for any questions. Thank you, Pamela.